first met Elizabeth was when I played a Beethoven concerto with San Francisco Symphony, and we went out afterwards, and she just introduced me to these incredible wines, and the way that she spoke about them, and when she was sort of guiding me through it, was so passionate, and so similar to the way that I feel about music and speak about music. I was, you know, just astounded by her energy right off the bat. I mean, she just, you know, was so open and alive, and. Um, but then to go from seeing her be this really warm human being to actually performing on stage, and she was a powerhouse with the cello, you know, I mean, she literally danced with the instrument. I, she's, she's a very slight person, but she is, you know, enormous on stage, I mean, really such a presence. The interesting thing was, it wasn't until I was eight and I played the first box suite that then I really did know that that was going to be my life's work. It was just like, I just knew that as long as I could play Bach, I would want to play this instrument for the rest of my life. I think when I started falling in love with wine, part of that was that realization that yes, there's a sensuality to wine, um, and that gave it an artistic dimension, which is what made it perfect to me. It was a balance between science and, and something, uh, something more artistic. I think that as women, we do bring a certain romantic sensibility to our passion that is very natural for a woman to do and not as natural in our society for a man to do. Um, and so I think that um, that's also something that really bonds us. Well, blending is a bit of a trial and error thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a real uh, process of discovery you know, finding synergy or dissonance between wines that you thought might fit together and then um, sort of trying to arrive at what your textural goals are. Elevage to us has become kind of an esoteric wine and uh, we decided that it would be sort of a tribute to the texture of Stag's Eden. So it's really, it's kind of an adventure. I mean, when I play Bach, I am more filled with joy and the knowledge of the perfection of the world and also the greatness of human beings than anything else that I could possibly do on the face of the earth. Literally, how would you ever fall out of love with that? Mm -hmm.